and welcome to our final game of high school coverage here on NHSportsPage.com. It's the Division Three Boys Championship game. My name's Pete Terrier, along with our videographer, John Kesty. We also got a second video camera out here this afternoon. Jennifer Chick on the floor, bringing you the angles from all over this gym. And it's a rematch of last year's D3 Championship game, won by the Conant Orioles, their 10th championship in school history. Campbell, they haven't won a boys basketball championship, although they did get a girls championship about a week ago. So they're trying to go two for two with championships in basketball at Campbell. We'll bring you all the highlights, all the post game reaction with the interviews with the players and the coaches. Should be a good one here. The D2, excuse me, the D3 state championship game on NHSportsPage.com. And it's brought to you by our friends at Neighborhood Fundraising. School fundraising made easy. Let's do nothing. Conant with the lead. Painted Jonas, he'll try a three right hand side and knocks it down. Conant with a 5 0 lead on Campbell. Conant with it. O'Brien back to Painted Jonas. They go down low block. Hodgson spins, throws it up, and gets it to go. Virgin either got knocked over or took a flop. And it's 7 0 Conant. 4 09 to go first quarter. Campbell wants a timeout. All excited about the defense. Nice dip. Out of a drowning the other night against uh, Berlin in the semis. Here's O'Brien on the drive, hangs baseline and buries it. Rob O'Brien's got four, and it's a 9 2 point lead. Here's Panda Jodas in the corner, picked up the dribble, found Hodgson at the free throw line, puts it on the floor, drives, and the soft touch. Eli Hodgson has himself four points, and the lead is eight, 12 4. Goes to Smarts, drives left baseline, far away, and back and goes. Andrew Smarts with his second basket. It's 12 to 6. Conan up six. Finds Shaw or Smarts right wing. Smarts on the drive. Actually, that's Shaw. Sweeping left hand and moves good for Kyle Shaw. And it's 15 to 8. Campbell trying to get this within three, maybe even two. Here's Burgeon, baseline, and goes to the basket and scores. Zach Burgeon with six. It's 15 to 12. And three instead pulled it down. Found O'Brien. His open look straight away is Rob O'Brien. He's got eight, and the lead is six, 18 to 12. Opponent. Middle of four, O'Brien. O'Brien right side, Panagiotis, open three, knocks another one down. Nick Panagiotis is feeling it from three. He's got three, three balls, and the lead is seven, 21-14. Right side, Gray, he can hit the three. And that one rattles around, pops up, and drops in. 21-17, Gray with three off the bench. Virgin gets it. Virgin at the free throw line, spins in the lane, blocked by Hodgson. And they're gonna get a jump ball, and the arrow goes to Conan. Ryan catches, swings it, left corner three. Carlin missed it. Rebound to Benedetto, push him with the dribble. Carlin coming from behind. The Benedetto takes it strong, O'Brien blocked it out of bounds. O'Brien up to Carlin. He steps to the lane, drives, offensive foul. Nice play, Virgin. As Carlin just got out of control there, Virgin stepped in, saw him coming, and Carlin, like a freight train, just knocked over Virgin. Under four minutes left in the third. Left side, Panagiotis, a three. It's good! His fourth three of the game. He's got 12 points. The lead is nine. 28 19, Conant. 3.45 left third quarter. On the bench. Now to O'Brien, back to DeGrenier. DeGrenier on the drive. Partially blocked by Vedrani, out of bounds. Last touch by Harrison, so it'll be Conant basketball. Lands all over the place on defense, now he retreats. Here's Burgeon down the lane, blocked by Hodgson. Outlet, O'Brien to the cup. Lays it up, no, but he got fouled. Smart side, Panagiotis. Finds Carlin down the lane, lefty finish over Burgeon. And Carlin makes it a nine point lead for Conant. 36 27. Eight point game. Campbell still alive. 50 seconds. Burgeon, long three. Knocks it down. Five point game. 40 to 
36. Conant wins their back-to-back -back championship, their 11th in school history, and they're celebrating at midcourt here at the SMA2 Fieldhouse. All right, we got the Conant Orioles, defending champs and repeat champs in Division Three. They beat Campbell today, forty to thirty-six. Guys, make some noise! You just won the back-to-back -back championship. And it's the eleventh championship in Conant basketball history. Let's talk to some of the guys here. Rob O'Brien with the net around his neck. He's got the game ball. He had a 14-point game, six rebounds, four assists, leading the way as usual. You guys just really did a great job on defense, I thought. You know, a number of different guys kind of collapsing on Zach Bergen. Yeah. But you guys went out there and proved the point, and you proved that you're the best team in D3 this year. Yeah, no, I mean, we know that Zach scores half their points every game, so... Defense is our main thing, so as long as we hold them under 40, which we did, they only got 36, we got the win. There's a whole team, the whole team contributed, so we got the win. Hey, Kyle, you had a rough start in the first half, but you really started to get things going in the second half. You ended up finishing with six points. Uh, you had three rebounds and assist, but I thought you hit some real big buckets there late in that game that kind of helped stave them off a little bit. Yeah, definitely. It's not how you start, it's how you finish a game. Um, Early on, I got in foul trouble. That was on my bad, but uh, later on, I got it to it. And coach said, don't worry about it. Just it's all mental, and I went out there, and I did what I had to do. And the man that was doing work in the first half, Nick Panagiotis over here with the three-pointers, nailed three big ones in that first half. And then you came in the second half and hit another one. All 12 of your points, well, excuse me, you had a free throw there towards the end, but you were really stroking it from downtown. Four for five from, from three-point land today. Awesome. Um, my main goal was just to play defense and get the win for my teammates. That's all it was. It was just a team contributing thing, and that's all I wanted. But when the ball comes to you on the wing and you see you got an open shot, you didn't hesitate. No. Uh, I've been having, for the past, like, four playoff games, I've been having a rough shooting game. So uh, coach told me I was going to make my shots the next day, and I went and did it. And Eli Hodgson, you finished that McDouble over there? You still working on that? Still working on it. <laughs> He's got the net around his net as well. But I thought you did a great job with Burgeon. I mean, you were all over him defensively, especially in the second half. I mean, he finished with 18 points, but 2 for 12 from the field. Mm -hmm. 13 of those 18 were on the free throw line. He had 13 out of 14 free throws, just 1 for 6 from downtown. So good job defensively on him. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, he was <laughs> he was playing like he was playing really well, and like I I, did, I just wanted to lock him up. And um, their coach called me not their coach, but like one of the, somebody over there was like calling me a bum, and I was like, I ain't no bum. I'm gonna lock you up. <laughs> now, I'm, I looked at I, I was looking at him all, the whole time. I was just like I was just so motivated to do it. And I mean, this is the last game I have. I'm sure I fouled out, but I don't even care. I'm I'm just happy to be a champion. You know what I mean? yeah. yeah. All right, where's Philadelphia? Where's CJ? Oh, okay, so so. I walk into the locker room here. I don't know if you heard me on the radio yesterday or whatever, but I think I might have said, I just have a feeling Campbell's going to win this basketball game, yeah. and you called me out. I called you out, yeah. I was listening. I thought our coach was going to be on it, but he wasn't. And <laughs> I came across you calling us out, saying Campbell's zone was going to lock us up, but uh, I guess they didn't. I was wrong. Look, hey. Uh, if I could get my predictions right, I'd be living in Vegas, and we, we'd all be rich. We'd all be celebrating this championship. Guys, I just want to thank you so much. Your community, the fans that you have out there in Jaffrey and Ridge, awesome. It's a lot of fun covering you guys, and I look forward to seeing you guys next year. It should be a lot of fun. Congratulations to the Con Conan Orioles. Champs again in D3. Hey, everybody should thank Pete right now for picking Campbell on the radio show. I told him it was the motivation we needed. Well, when I walked in here, Coach, C.J. Billado was the first one to mention that to me. Yeah. And they also said they're surprised that you didn't do it. And I said, well, I haven't talked to him yet. So here you go. I mean, obviously, 
you guys did what you had to do today. I remember watching the, uh, reading the quotes from you after the Berlin game. Kind of an ugly game, you know, 39-38. This was similar, but you told them, let's forget about this. Let's move on and move on to the next one. And then you're in another one of those rock fights today. Yeah, uh, I told these guys at the beginning of the playoffs, I said, it's all about defense. I said, when you get to playoffs, you know, some teams struggle. There's nerves. you got to buy into the defense that we did. No team scored 40 points against us in the playoffs. We didn't shoot it well against Berlin. We didn't, we, sh we didn't shoot it well tonight. We couldn't make our free throws. It all came down to defense, and I, I'm a huge believer in defense. That's what we preach every day, and that's what won us this championship, without a doubt. And I don't know if you've looked at the stat sheet yet, but they scored two in the first quarter, and then they came out of halftime, and they scored two in the third quarter. They were really lucky to be in this game, you know, considering those two, those two points I just made. Oh, yeah, I'm well aware of that. Uh, I came in at halftime, and I can't repeat what I said, but we gave up two points in the first quarter and then we gave up 17 and I said you guys just got complacent I'm like this is a state championship you can't get complacent I said you have to do what you did in the first and the third if you don't do it we're taking you out and they did I think they only scored two in the second in the third right yeah yeah so I mean credit to them they bought into the game plan they listened they were disciplined and they came out on top. And I can't be more proud of them. Let's talk about the way this year went because, you know, people were wondering, oh, gee, Conant, you know, they lose to Campbell. They lose to Stevens. They eke by against Fall Mountain. I mean, people were questioning, what's wrong with Conant this year? I know you had some issues with, with health for the most part, you know, some injuries here and there. But, you know, this year I'm sure there's a gratifying state championship, probably as much so maybe if not more than a team, you know, a, a situation, a season where you guys are just dominant and blowing everybody out oh yeah definitely you know it's been an up and down year and you know people always say oh we don't win a game by 20 they're like oh what's wrong with you guys no a win's a win you know and I told these guys we've had up and downs this year there's there's been a lot of things going on other than basketball that every team faces that coaches know about and uh, I said hey it's not how you start it's how you finish and it doesn't matter if you win by one or you win by 20 a win's a win and if you win a state championship nobody's gonna remember anything else because it doesn't matter what matters is that we just put up a banner and that you can't take that away from these guys. So those losses don't mean anything. So now you guys got 11 banners at the school. Uh, you've been a part of seven of them. Four as a head coach, three as an assistant. It never gets old, I'm sure. No, it doesn't get old. You know, all the hard work that the community puts in, that these kids put in, you know, I'm blessed to have these kids. Because any coach will tell you, you don't win without great players and great kids. These are great kids. They're great players. I love them. And uh, they deserve all the success they've had. As far as moving on, you know, you're losing a lot of seniors this year. I know you got some younger guys that, that played roles this year. But, you know, how do you kind of turn the page and, and look forward towards next year saying goodbye to all these great seniors? Hey, it's hard to, it's hard to say goodbye to the seniors. Um, it's, it's the best way that they can go out. But the next group comes on. You know, last year Nate Plants didn't, I mean, uh, Nathan Wheeler didn't play. And now he comes up and he's in, he's in the starting lineup. You know, C.J. Billado didn't see the floor last year. He makes two huge free throws against Berlin. And he, next year he's going to step in. So guys know what they have to do. People forget that these guys are practicing against our best players every day. So that makes them better. It helps to have freshmen and sophomores going against the seniors in practice. It pushes them. Here's an opportunity to just say thanks to, the, to your supporting community, that Conan basketball community. They're great. One of the be best fan bases in all of New Hampshire basketball. Here's a chance to say thanks to those guys. Oh yeah, I, I can't thank them enough. You know, I'm blessed to be their basketball coach. Like I said, we wouldn't have the success we were without the kids and especially the parents. Uh, I think the parents are always overlooked because they're the ones driving the kids to practice. They're the ones bringing them to AAU. They're the ones driving them, getting up at 6 a.m. when we have 7 a.m. practice. You know, it's a credit to them and the whole community for their support. Uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't be more blessed and be more proud to be their basketball coach. All right, Coach. Once again, champs in Division Three, the Conan Orioles. Thanks to Coach Sauce here. For what they, they achieved, I thought they played hard today. We missed some, some tough shots at times, and um, they played well. Uh, you know, that's, that's the way it goes, but when you look at our team, uh, we only have three kids from last year that ever played varsity basketball. And we only have one kid, one starter back, and we have no seniors. So for them to gut it out with that inexperience, um, I'm, I'm so proud of them. To me, this is like a, a Hoosiers 2 movie that we didn't win the championship. Talk about the first quarter, two points, and then the third quarter. I, I mean, know. that killed you. You I lost know. by four. I know, I know, no question about it. Um, you know, they, they were patient and methodical. Um, we, we didn't turn the ball over that much. It just, we weren't able to make shots. And um, I mean, if you look at the stats, 
the they they limit us to one and we limit them to one but they hit some big threes and we didn't hit shots so those two quarters definitely hurt what, what were they doing defensively to that? well they're trying to put you know six guys on them one guy all over them i mean they, they tried to stop him obviously um he's uh he Zach's a great basketball player and um, they got him a little frustrated early but I, but I thought he came back and, and, and overcame that and gave it everything he had you know they were they were blanketing him despite that the, 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 